I yeah. didn't live uh, there. For, for two years, they gave me my start as a sculptor. I, I, would, I, I said, hey, I'm a sculptor. And I applied for artist-in-residency, and they said, okay, you're the sculptor. And they gave me a studio, and I worked... Uh, educating uh, kids mm -hmm. in parks and recreation in the summer and in the schools for 20 hours and adult education at the uh, at the art center for uh, about 20 hours a week of that and also I would carve in in public people go what are you doing and, you, know, <laughs> you know and did all kinds of little things over it and then they gave they gave me a studio and a materials budget and for two years I would make sculpture and that was my transition from, you know, being a, a carpenter or a handyman or something, did art on the side, to being a full-time sculptor. And then after that, shortly thereafter, uh, Jim, I forget his name, God bless his heart, he's gone now, he's a lawyer, uh, started the Italian, the Italian festival had gotten started, and he wanted a and artwork for the immigrants and it was going to go up on the park up on Lowndes Hill mm -hmm. and they got me they said we don't have much money but we want something to commemorate the immigrants and I thought well let me see they have $9,000 okay let me see what I can figure out I'm going to make the biggest thing I can make possible that'll you know last a, a while you know concrete you know so I think I made maybe a dollar an hour, <laughs> maybe, you know, because I had, I had to move that thing, I weighed 10,000 pounds or whatever, I had to get a guy to move it, I had to uh, pour a concrete the foundation and the welding and everything, but I, I just wanted to show people what I could do, and it worked, because I got a picture in the paper, Skip Johnson did a picture of the immigrants, uh, on the Sunday paper, full color on the front page. And the next day, I got a call from Charleston for my first bronze commission. And then the people that I did that bronze commission told me about an, another hospital, I got another bronze commission. And that was that started the whole fire. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, now, do, do you remember the... Steve Johnson really... Yeah, that yeah. article did it for me, man. Do you remember the looks of some of the characters that you? Yeah, made in yeah, that? yeah. Uh, you know, there were uh, all these groups. We began, of course, with the natives that were in the area, hunting in the area, and and I suppose some of them maybe lived here part time. I don't know if there was any real established Indian communities in West Virginia. But the idea was the immigrants was the people who came. And first it was the trappers, and then there were very various groups. There was an Irish stonemason. There was a Flemish glass blower. There was a, a, one of the guys that would work in the oil drilling and uh, oil and gas drilling, and you know the various immigrant groups that came in stages: the Portuguese, the you know the Italians, you know. And, and there was an, an, an immigrant family from Italy, which was, you know, they could have been my, grand, my grandfather and my grandmother who arrived on the boat at the turn of the century from Italy, mm -hmm. you know, with a, with a suitcase. And, uh, you know, the, the man is looking, you know, for like the opportunity and maybe the woman's looking back a little bit. I don't know, Gennaro, what are we doing? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know. But it was, it's an interesting story, and they wanted me to, you know, put that into a... a so anyway, we put it up in this... They, they carved a bench out like this in, in red clay. And they said, yeah, the sculpture goes there. And so we delivered it, and I was, oh my God, it was a muddy mess. But you know, I said, okay, well, there it is. It'll be good once they make a park out of this and it grows in with ivy and everything. And on opening day, it had rained and they hadn't uh, seeded any grass. And I remember the poor uh, uh, video video 
woman from the TV with the TV camera. She had on her stockings and high heels, you know. And so she's filming me, and she said, "And Mr. Hopin, could you tell me something about the sculpture?" And she steps back, and she goes, <laughs> you know, pulls her high heel shoe up and <laughs> into the ankle with her panty <laughs> with her pantyhose on. And I thought, oh God, <laughs> such glamour. Such a location we have here, a mud pit. <laughs> you know, but, you know, anyway, I went home. And then a little while later, they said, you know, we really love the sculpture, but we think maybe could you help us move it <laughs> to another location? We want it right there on the, on the town square, you know, on the, the courthouse. And I thought, wow. You do a good job, you move up town. You know? <laughs> so yeah, a couple of hundred, uh, a couple thousand more. I put a back on it, you know, and and they got a. I think it was the railroad company brought a big crane and a big trailer and were able to to move it and relocate it. And now it's been there. Gosh, what thirty years more? And I, I'm amazed it's held up as well and as long as it has. Yeah, it's well, still, the steps you made. Part yeah. of that are still there. Yeah, ferro cemento. They make sailboats out of it, you know. Jim, Jim Pool, Jim Pool, Jim Pool asked me, he says, I don't know, a cement bill, how long is it going to last? And I said, eh, about as long as a sidewalk. And he said, well, that's good, okay. <laughs> so, do you remember the face of the Irish uh, stonemason? Yes, I do. I, I remember him quite well. Uh, that was uh, a piece that I actually cast in uh, cast stone. And uh, I think I still have a very crisp uh, no. m uh, a plaster. Mm -hmm. Gabe had it. He put it on top of the stove and it kind of collapsed. I don't know if it's still over at the, you know, whether J Jamie got possessed, he divorced his wife. Or whether he can still get that, but you know, might want, might be able to still get that. You made the some, mold is no good. Yeah. The molds are gone from that. You, you made hands and feet and heads, didn't you? Individually. Yeah, I just made faces on the on the the uh, stone worker. He was. I did like the sh you know the 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 bust of the, from here. I did like a bust in order to get the the movement of his shoulders, and then I did. And did his hands, and then I did the the arms and his lower body, and just direct on wire uh, ferro cement. You know, it, you know, it's really an ambitious project to do something that big for nine grand. <laughs> you know, even though nine thousand back then, you know, might have been about the same as twenty or thirty now, but still, that was quite a <laughs> big piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs>